Hi guys, today we have Realme C3 for replacing the LCD screen. So first thing we need to open the phone. I have already taken out the SIM tray. You need to take out the yes, SIM yeah. tray. And uh, for opening the phone, you need to use something like this. You need to find out a way to get into it and you need to keep moving like this you need to careful with the finger scanner there will be a cable so when you open make sure you don't open like this and break the cable no be careful okay so now just open a little bit little bit little bit In this model the finger scanner was not glued and normally it is glued so anyway it's better if you check it now we're going to open these screws So now, first of all, disconnect the battery, which is always a good habit. And now we need to check the LCD before disconnecting the O. Oh. So now this will stay like here so this cable is for the LCD Let me see where is the power button. It's on the opposite side. So as you can see the LCD just turned on and now we need to make sure it's working fine. So, we need to place the horizontally, uh, the LCD flat on something. So, I'm using this. If it's working fine, it's okay. If not, we need to do it something flat. But the problem in this, the cable is very short. So, I don't have too much place or do it too much. So, I can see it's working fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. You need to check the sensitivity of the LCD. 
if it's and let's try one more time four two four three six I can confirm this working fine so now we can just disconnect the LCD now disconnect the battery the important thing is the battery always connect when you have connected the LCD okay you can disconnect the bat uh, the LCD without but whenever you are connecting you know avoiding making a short circuit so now we need to remove the LCD for removing the LCD the first step is to remove the the battery like this okay in this model they have used the new technique which have been recently used in Hawaii models so it's a good technique because before what happened we damage everything and you know like removing the battery that damage the battery but now it's a good technique so now to remove the LCD we need to we need to get to access to this and now we need to heat this LCD okay on uh, 91 degrees centigrade like for three to four minutes I'll show you in a minute I'm going to place it like this heat it for three to four minutes and then just remove the LCD and connect this one so like this okay I'm going to heat it on hard plate on 91 okay and I'm gonna leave it like for three minutes four minutes uh, if it's need I will do it again so now because it's hard I'm going to use the glove so now you need to remove the LCD so we're going to carefully remove the LCD make some space as the LCD is damaged we don't need to worry just need to worry about uh, you know the sides You need to remove any any of the residue which is left of broken LCD. So now we need to clean it very good these sides make sure you don't left any of the crystal part or glue I always make a detailed video without editing because my video is for help others not making some you know techy stuff I want to show you real time
So now I will use this cloth to remove if anything else is left. always a good practice so you also do it I recommend you using a cloth with little bit of alcohol and clean this passage with the LCD sheet you know it's very small and thin place so we need to make sure we clean it if we don't clean it we'll have problem installing the new LCD In this particular model, the glue is very hard and taking some time, but it's worth it. Understand? So now I can see it's well clean. I'm trying to remove this shield of the 
because I cannot heat it. It's it's very much fragile. Yes, okay. So this is like this. <coughs> Sorry. So now you need to make sure don't cover this sensor okay this is the sensor going to use this You need to make sure it fits exactly in the same because there is the sensor. So if the sensor have little bit of uh, you know the loose looseness, you will have problem of uh, face recognition sensor, which help you when you put your phone near your face, the LCD stay black. So make sure you put it on the right, and there is no space especially in this area okay and the top so in that way the sensor will work fine uh, you keep press little bit with the finger it's a very good practice uh, all I just to make sure it's uh, in exact position and it's exactly fitted in the frame uh, because you know you have uh, like few minutes to before the glue settle down properly so if the glue settle down a little bit out it will stay like out LCD so don't don't do that okay so just make sure you keep moving until it sit on exact position so now the, the LCD cable just connect like this and now with the hand okay and the last uh, remove this paper to its exact position Okay. 
I was thinking the real me is, uh, you know, sister company of Redmi, but it's not. I can tell you by the quality. The quality of Redmi or Xiaomi far better than this one. I can just tell you by the technology. It's a good, but not compared to Xiaomi. Xiaomi do have a better quality. This is my first repair of Realme. Okay. I have never replaced the uh, LCD because it's the new model in the market. But uh, the product made is, is better. It's better than ZTE. I don't know why. ZTE is very old model. Very old company. Sorry. I'm saying model. Very old company. But it couldn't compete the market. Uh, their quality was, you know, very, very bad. And uh, they use, you know, when you open a ZTE phone, you think like you open it, just the Chinese phone. So the quality, did not. they didn't improve the quality. So now they are very left, I'm talking about ZTE. But the real me, the quality is better than ZTE. This is my first repair of Realme C3. Uh, well, I would like to say one thing which, which is done better than other models. They put the finger sensor here. It's good but because sometimes when you open and uh, the back cover is stiff, you end up damage the finger sensor. So this is the good thing they did. So now the last screw and that's it. You just close. Uh, make sure when you closing, okay. Close it, uh, well in this model they have button both sides. So don't damage the buttons. Uh, so in this case you have two button this side so this side first okay now just check once again As you can see LCD just turn on so so guys that was the today's tutorial about realme c3 replacing the LCD screen and uh, by following this tutorial you can also change the battery or whatever okay so this uh, with this video you can get help if you want to replace the lcd camera because the the trick is you know similar so thank you guys for watching my video hope it helped okay bye see you next video